The ninth point, are you engaged in satisfying work? Poor fellow, he broke down. He overworked himself. <laughs> what nonsense. No one ever broke down from overwork in this world, and no one ever will. You break down, ladies and gentlemen, from over worry. You work 10 minutes only with hate or fear in your heart. Brother, you're overworked, and how? You work all day at something you love, without tension or tears. You'll go home pretty tired, but you won't break down. I just flew into Phoenix from New York by plane, which is the best way to fly. And <laughs> During the past several months, I have flown to Australia, New Zealand, England, all over America. Tomorrow, I have to fly out to speak in Minneapolis and Bemidji and <laughs> Moorhead. And people say to me, you know, you're going you're to break down. You run around too much. No, I will not break down because being here tonight is for me an adjustment too. I really always wanted to be an actor. <laughs> but my mother wanted me to be a doctor. So I became a doctor and now I'm an actor. <laughs> One man said to me, you know, Dr. Banks, I know a lady who also wanted her son to be a doctor, but he wanted to be a bum. Now they're both happy, he's a bum doctor. <laughs> The tenth and the last point is this. Do you know how to worry effectively? There's only one thing to do when you're worried, and this is it. Do something active about the cause of your worry. Are you worried about your health? Well, then go to a doctor. Do you have an emotional problem? Go to a psychiatrist. <gasps> a psychiatrist? Yes, a psychiatrist. I picked up my phone the other day, and a voice said, hello? I said, hello. He said, is this the crazy doctor? I said, yes. He said, I want to make an appointment to see you. How much do you charge? I said, $20. He said, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> After dealing with mental patients for quite a number of years, it is always a thrilling thing for me to learn each day anew that the only difference between a happy person and a broken soul is never the problems. That's just about the same for all of us. It's the attitude towards the problems that makes us what we are. A mother had two twin boys, six years of age, identical twins. They had the same freckle in the same spot. But you'd never have trouble telling them apart because one of them was a cheerful little optimist. Whenever you'd look at him, he'd smile at you. The other one was a pessimist of the worst order. Mama took them both by the hands one day off to the psychiatrist. She said, Doctor, I don't want much. Really, I don't. Balance them up a little bit. One a little more and one a little less. He said, well, listen carefully. I'll tell you how to do it. When their birthday rolls around, buy that little pessimist of yours a room full of toys. Fill the room with more toys than he's ever seen before. He says, what shall I get for the optimist? Well, just get him a great big box of manure. Say, what you say? What, 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 what? <laughs> Madam, that's what I said. Toys for the pessimist, manure for the optimist. That'll balance them up. Mama did exactly as the doctor ordered. Then she stuck her head into each room to see how they were getting along. There in that room with all those lovely toys sat that little pessimist. She says, just look at this bunch of junk toys. I don't like them. The boy next door has better toys. Then she went to the other room. And there was that little optimist digging through all the manure. He said, you can't fool me. Where there's manure, there must be a pony. <laughs> If you ever stop to think about your life, you will find that your life is just like climbing a slippery hill. You climb, you slip, you climb. We all slip. We all have sorrow, frustration, failure. But the measure of you as a person is, what do you do when you slip? Do you pick yourself up and try to go just a wee bit higher on the hill? Or do you lie there and whine and have a nervous breakdown? I hope you'll never forget, never, that happiness is just like chasing a butterfly. The more you chase it and chase it and chase it directly, then it will always just elude you. But if you sit down quietly, turn your thoughts to other things, then the butterfly comes and softly sits on your shoulder. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. <laughs>